And if you're looking for something to do this rainy day or interested in learning more about local history, the Winota House is screening a film today that sheds light on a tragedy that took place more than 90 years ago. And it's all part of the Smith and Libby exhibition, which focuses on the mystery surrounding the shooting death of Zachary Smith, the youngest son of RJ and Catherine Smith Reynolds. Now, and here to tell us more about the local film critic, Dale Pollock. Good morning, Dale. Um, could you tell good morning. us? Good morning. Good morning. Could you tell us about Renota Smith's exhibition? Yes, this is about the, this famous mystery that has never been totally solved that resulted in the death of Z. Smith Reynolds. And there were three principal characters. Uh, he was the young pilot and daredevil. Um, Libby Holman, who was a torch singer and actress who he had married, and his best friend, Ab Walker. And these three characters really interact in a very dramatic way in real life, and they've also been tackled in three different films by Hollywood. All right, now I understand that there have been several films made about Smith and Libby that span several decades. Could you share some of those notable movies? Yes, I'll be showing one uh, this afternoon at 1.30 called Written on the Wind. It comes from 1956 and it stars Rock Hudson, Dorothy Malone, and Robert Stack. And the dynamic between the three characters is just the same as the real life one with uh, Libby Holman, Z. Smith Reynolds, and Ab Walker. Uh, there was also a movie from 1935 called Reckless with Gene Harlow, and I'll be showing that on October 28th. And on November 4th, there'll be a screening of Sunset Boulevard. And there's a good tie-in to that and the Z. Smith Reynolds Libby Holman scandal. Okay, now as part of the exhibition, Renolda is going to screen one of the most notable films today called Written on the Wind. Could you please tell us more about that? Yes, um, it's a thinly disguised version. It has Rock Hudson uh, as the uh, Ab Walker character. Robert Stack is Z. Smith Reynolds in effect. And Dorothy Malone is, uh, is uh, the other one. And so together, they really make this one of the great melodramas of the 1950s. The director, Douglas Sirk, was very famous for these uh, very swollen emotion, emotional movies. And Written on the Wind is right up there with one of his best. All right. Now, how and where can people go to see today's event? It's at the auditorium at Renolda House, the main auditorium. Admission is free and parking is also available very close. So it's a great thing to do on a rainy afternoon, especially starting off this series with such a terrific uh, soap opera as Written on the Wind. And I think uh, all the other two films will also prove to be very satisfying. Now, what are you looking most to um, about this event? Like, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking to share a wonderful movie with people and put it into the historical context that it belongs based on this really wild true story that's been a scandal in Winston-Salem for almost 100 years. All right, thank you, Dale, for joining us this morning. And as a reminder, the Smith and Libby exhibition is open for the public's viewing through December 31st. Dale Pollock will be at today's screening for an introduction at 1 p.m., followed by a screening and discussion after it. We'll have more information on this event on our website, WXII12.com.